Welcome to Network Theory Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you initial conditions of RC circuit in this video. And before you see this video, I request you to go through my previous video based on initial and final conditions of electrical elements in which I have already explained initial conditions and final conditions of resistor inductor and capacitor so that will definitely gives you benefits to understand this example so let us try to understand what will happen with this circuit so here we have rc circuit in which this switch k that is getting closed at time t is equals to zero and we are deal with to find values of current i di by dt and d square i by dt square at time t is equals to zero plus so here we will be closing this switch at time t is equals to 0. So let us have that state first. So here let us turn on this switch at time t is equals to 0. So this switch that is getting on at time t is equals to 0. Right. Now as this switch is getting on for initial conditions, you see at time t is equals to 0 plus first we need to find current i. So we need to understand what is initial conditions of capacitor. So initial conditions of capacitor that will be short circuit, right? Initial condition at time t is equals to zero plus capacitor that will be short circuit. So as if capacitor is short circuit, I zero plus current that will be happening in this loop, right? And that loop current will be voltage by resistance only. So voltage is 100 divided by resistance is 100. So current will be 1 ampere. So initial condition of this circuit with current that is 1 ampere, right? Now you see our agenda is to identify what is di by dt and d square i by dt square. So for that we need to apply KVL in this loop. Let us consider in this loop current is i and let us apply kvl in this loop so if you apply kvl in this loop then this battery that is happening from minus to plus so that will be plus 100 voltage and that is equals to voltage across resistance that is 100 into i plus voltage across capacitance that is 1 by c and here capacitance is 1 microfaraday so 10 to the power minus 6, 1 by C integration I dt. So this is what KVL equation which we have. And now you see our agenda that is to identify di by dt first. Now in this equation, we don't have di by dt. So what we need to do? We need to differentiate this equation with respect to time. So let us differentiate this equation with respect to time. So if you differentiate this equation with respect to time, this 100 differentiation is 0. That is equals to 100 di by dt. Differentiation of i with respect to time is di by dt plus 10 to the power 6. This will go in numerator and differentiation of integration that will make it to i only. Right. So I can say that di by dt that is equals to minus of 10 to the power 6 divided by 10 to the power 2 right divided by 100 that I need to do into i. So I can say that di by dt that is equals to minus of 10 to the power 4 of i right. Now see our agenda is to identify di by dt at time t is equals to 0 plus. So i0 plus that we already have that is 1 ampere right so let us substitute the value at time t is equals to 0 plus we have i0 plus that is 1 ampere so that will make sure your calculation of di by dt at time t is equals to 0 plus that is minus 10 to the power 4 into 1 so that is minus 10 to the power 4 ampere per second so that is how we can have di by dt initially right 
Now we wanted to have d square i by dt square as per another question. So we have this differential equation and again if we differentiate this equation with respect to time we will be having d square i by dt square over here. So let us say this is equation 1 and let us differentiate equation 1 with respect to time. So d square i by dt square that is equals to minus of 10 to the power 4 and i differentiation with respect to time that is di by dt. Now if you want to have initial value of d square i by dt square then as we know at time t is equals to 0 plus you see di by dt that is there and we have calculated that so di by dt at time t is equals to 0 plus we have calculated that that is minus 10 to the power 4 ampere per second and if you place that in this then we can have d square i by dt square at time t is equals to 0 plus so that is minus 10 to the power 4 into minus 10 to the power 4 right and that is plus 10 to the power 8 ampere per second square so we got the value of initial conditions right for rc circuit so this is how we can identify initial conditions right so for that you should have basic knowledge of what will happen initially with inductor capacitor and resistor resistor will remain constant only for inductor it will act as a open circuit initially and capacitor will act as a short circuit initially and that is how you can build up the equations and that we can use it to solve questions i hope you have understood this Still, there will be few more examples that will make sure your understanding will be clear. So stay tuned with this playlist. I hope it is clear to all of you. And still, if you have any doubt, you just place that in comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.